Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Athlon 2 X4 610E. This quad core CPU is a low power energy saving CPU. Okay, so one of the AMD Athlons that I reviewed previously was also an energy saving, the uh, Phenom 2 910E. This is the Athlon 2 610E. 45 nanometer architecture, 2.4 gigahertz on this quad core, four cores. 2 megs of level 2 cache, okay, no level 3 cache on this one, it's a mainstream CPU, low wattage, 50, sorry, 45 watts only, okay, and um, voltage range is also very low, 0.775 to 1.25 volts, and the temperature that it can support up to 72 degrees Celsius, terrific. So here's a mainstream system, okay, so this is one of those systems that I posted on my website that you can build for roughly about $500. And um, here is Windows 7 showing you the low voltage, showing you the processor settings in CPU-Z. As you can see, this one here only comes with level 2 cache, 2 megs of it. And it's running on energy saving right now. So obviously the core is at 800 megahertz because I'm not really using the CPU. I'm just recording my screen. So it doesn't need to run at 2.4 gigahertz for that. And um, when it saves energy and it basically clocks itself lower, it's running at a lower temperature as well, 22, 23 degrees Celsius, basically on uh, very little load on this quad-core CPU. If I force it to run at full load, 2.4 gigahertz kicks in. It runs at a higher voltage, obviously, to support the 2.4 gigahertz. And there's the multiplier and the bus speed and my memory settings. Everything is at default. I didn't overclock it because this CPU is really not meant for overclocking. You don't want to increase the voltage and run this hot. That defeats the purpose of an energy low power uh, saving um, CPU. Okay, so running some benchmarks though, just so you can get an idea on this mainstream system, you can see here the copy, the read, the write, and latency on that memory that Kingston HyperX uh, 2 gigs of DDR3 that I have installed on this um, mainstream box. Again, with all settings and everything running at default. Okay, great little system for the office, do some casual gaming. Home theater PC, here's the PC Mark um, Vantage scores, which I compared with other systems. And also, um, as usual, I'll, I'll run the 3D Mark Vantage to also get the CPU score of 8099, so 8099, you can see there. And when you compare the CPU score against other AMD CPUs, you can see here where it lies, okay? So halfway in between there, it's better than the Phenom 2 dual cores, and not as good as, of course, as the Phenom 2 quad cores, but it's halfway in between. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. The price point right now for this, if you were to go buy it, is about $140 US. That's about $60 cheaper than the Intel Core i5-661, which I reviewed previously, which would be comparable, okay? Because they're both energy-saving, low-power um, use CPUs, okay? So if you were to uh, compare it to an Intel, I would compare it against the 661, which is $60 more. Now here again, you can use this for casual gaming. Here's that Batman, the game here that I've played it on these both resolutions. Decent frame rates based on the uh, mainstream video card that I have installed on this um, PC. And here's Dirt 2, again with some nice mainstream uh, results considering that I'm running everything on high settings. And uh, also on Bioshock, terrific results on this older game. So if you're looking to play some older games on this PC, you're going to get terrific results on it as well. Not a problem. And um, definitely definitely good if you want to just tweak it a little bit for some more performance. You can maybe get 300, 400 um, uh, megahertz more out of it by just increasing the bus speed. Do not increase the voltage. That def defeats the purpose. We want to keep the temperatures low, right? It's a low energy, low power saving a CPU, so we don't increase voltages here. If anything, you want to keep everything low. Definitely recommend this if you're getting it uh, for a mainstream PC. You want it to last. You want it to um, basically keep things cool and quiet. Not a bad choice. So definitely recommend it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.